Hey, my name is Stu and I'm a product manager at SAS for Visual Analytics and this is all about parameters. Well, what is a parameter anyway? Well, it's a variable whose value can be changed by the user and it's associated with the report and is independent of any data sets in that report. You can read and use that value in calculations, filters, ranks, and even dynamic text. Here's an example of how this works. Down here, we have a button bar that is populated by origin from sashelp.cars. Within that button bar is also a role for a character parameter, and we've added origin param as a character parameter to it. Asia is currently selected in the button bar. The character parameter takes on that value of Asia. If we were to select Europe, that parameter would then take on the value of Europe. And that's really all there is to parameters. It's a variable whose value can be changed by the user, and we do that through report controls. Let's get into a demo that goes over the other types of parameters that there are. Now, before we begin, let's talk about how you actually create a parameter. First, go to the data pane, click New Data Item, and then click Parameter. You'll be greeted with a couple of different options. You can give the parameter a name. You could select its type, and there's four different types. There's character, numeric, date, and date time. You can decide if it's going to hold multiple values, and we'll get into that in a moment. And you can give it a minimum and maximum value if it's numeric, date, or date time. You can choose its format, and then click OK. And you'll see that your new parameter gets added to the parameter section of the data pane. And right now, it doesn't do anything. So let's figure out how we can actually make it do something. And we'll start off with character parameters. We'll take a look at this button bar. It's populated by origin from sashelp.cars, and it has a character parameter associated with it. Notice what happens when we click on different buttons in the bar. The text in the middle changes to what we've selected, and these ones and zeros with this text also change. So how is this working? Well, let's take a look first at this text. Notice that in the roles, it has a character parameter associated with it. And if we double click it, we'll see the character parameter is right here. It acts just like dynamic measures, except it's dynamic text. That's really cool. So now you can use parameters in dynamic text. Well then, how is this working with these ones and zeros? Well, if we look, we notice these aren't parameters, these are actually measures. Well, how does that work? Well, let's take a look at Asia flag. Go to our data pane, right-click Asia flag, click Edit, and we'll look at the code. This says, if the character parameter is equal to Asia, return a 1. Otherwise, return a 0. So in other words, if somebody is clicking the button bar and they select Asia, it'll give us a 1. Otherwise, it'll give us a 0. Now, that's really powerful. This means we know what users are selecting on a button bar, and we can make custom calculations happen with that. This doesn't need to be a 1 or a 0. This could be a whole different calculation. It could be a different formula. It could even be another variable. Now, that's really powerful. Next, let's take a look at numeric parameters. This one's a little bit different. This one uses a slider, and if we look at the roles, we see there's only a numeric parameter associated with it. So how is this slider getting populated with 0 to 100? Well, remember that minimum and maximum value that we saw just a moment ago? That's what's populating the slider. It's smart enough to know what its minimum and maximum should be based off of what we've set for the parameter. Let's say we wanted to change this from 100 to 200. We'll go over to our parameter. We'll right click, edit. We'll change the maximum value to 200. And we'll click OK. And now our slider has a maximum value of 200. And we can use this numeric parameter in dynamic text just like we could with character parameters. Date parameters are very similar to numeric parameters with sliders. They take a minimum and maximum value as well. So if you change this date par parameter value, this dynamic text will also change. So you can use this in dynamic text as well. Multi-valued parameters are very unique. These are parameters that allow you to specify multiple values within a list. So if you're using a list control and you want to use a parameter, it has to have that multi-value box selected. 
And when we start selecting items with the multi-value parameter, it creates a comma separated list, as we could see here. Now notice this hybrid and list flag. This is a zero. Well, what happens when we click hybrid? Well, it becomes a one. Well, how does this work? Well, let's take a look at the hybrid and list flag. Now this says if the string hybrid is within this multi-valued parameter list, return a one. Otherwise, return a zero. So this is how you can actually use parameters to search for text within a comma separated list. Finally, let's go over an example of how you can put parameters into action. We'll go over to this example. We have sashelp.cars loaded and we're looking at horsepower for every model in a bar chart. We want to find the top 10 fastest cars. Well, normally we would select the bar chart, go to ranks, create a new rank on model, and it would do that for us. Now we've got the top 10. But what if we wanted to see the top 15 rather than the top 10? Well, we need to edit the report, change that to top 15. But then there could be another person who says they don't want to see the top 15 and they want to see the top 10. So how do you satisfy both of those people? Well, we can do that using parameters. First, we're going to go to the data pane, click new data item, click parameter. We're going to call this rank. It's going to be numeric. It's not going to be multi-valued. Its minimum value is going to be one and its maximum value is going to be 15. We'll change the format so that it's only integers. And then we need to change the default value to something within our range. So we'll make it 10. And then we'll click OK. And there's our rank parameter. Next, let's go over to a slider and add it. Now, we need to make this parameter actually do something. We'll go to the bar chart, go to ranks, and you see under count, there's a drop down list here. If we open this up, we can see our rank parameter is right here. And now, whenever we change the slider, we'll change the rank that's being shown. So in other words, this rank parameter is being passed into the rank over here in the bar chart. And whenever you slide it, you change the rank. And now everybody can look at their own ranks in their own report. And that's how easy it is to use parameters. And that's just the basics of using parameters in SAS Visual Analytics. There's a whole lot more that you can do with them. Check out the links in the description below to learn more, including a paper I wrote called Mastering Parameters in SAS Visual Analytics. There you'll learn all about how parameters work and have even more examples that you can learn from. If you have any questions, be sure to comment on this video and subscribe to the SAS Users YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. <laughs>